Hey guys, and welcome back to another Mojahi Gibran video. So basically this is a Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The device is released back in 2019 of October or I think it's August. Yes, it's August since that then. That time the device is only has a Android 9 and then updated to Android 10 and then 11 and then 12. So today guys, I'm showing you that this device is by somehow by some developers called Ethernet ROM they are releasing the brand new updates which is android 14 as you can see here if you pull down the notification you can tell this is a android 14 from the device itself so the features there is a hub and there is a lot a lot of them so we need individually explaining them and each one as individual so guys as you can see here from the information menu this is a you know 10 plus as you can see here it's running android i think 14 not i think is definitely 14 so you can say hey wait a minute hold on this is a 10 plus and it's not supported for Android 14 I say yes it is it's supported now all thanks to Ethernet Rome they has released the code developer ROM for this device so I will leave everything from their website and their telegram channel in my video description link so if you have a Android, if I have a Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the Exynos version, I can tell this is a Exynos version. You have the Exynos version, you definitely need to try this ROM out because you will be stuck in Android 12. I think, yes, I didn't stuck yet since 2022. There is no more further update. The latest update, it's they are just sending you a security patch every single two or three years so guys there is a lot of features and there is a tons of ai stuff is included in this room so i gonna check them individually as you can tell from here at the very beginning this is you can see the animation of the smoothness of the icon and the packs and everything here it's working smoothly and they have developed the keyboard as you can tell from here let me open a search tag and show you what i am been talking about can see the keyboard is now redesigned you have a ai detection feature which you can help you to do your search while you are in a chat or translate a live chat and all the ai stuff here now we are in, we have in a spelling grammar check and we have a writing style also you can write in multiple language at the same time using the same keyboard of samsung so guys this is the first feature and then the uh, the second thing is the redesign it settings menu as you can tell here and by the way the smart assistant now is the smart management now it's gone we do have a smart manage so uh the first time in the first glance i was lost i'm searching for what the battery status and then i found this a brand new update and i can tell the software update also being moved to other side from here in utility from here you can find your software update instead of the very way or long way into the bottom of the update list so guys and uh, i can't cover all of them because i just installed this room and i'm just taking the device into some rights and to tell you and to explain you what's happening but as you can from now on this is everything uh, running rocking fine and the things i love about this update also guys it's the redesigned stock weather app so you can tell here this is a completely different from the previous uh generation of android uh, 11 or 13 or 12 so there's a tons of features i will cover them in individual video next episode so so the things that i want to know you the bugs of the feature and the bugs of this room it's also let me get straight with you guys this is a not a official room from samsung that means this device is not running samsung officials room so this is a custom room but built in on samsung based ui 6.0.1 so uh, i'm telling you the bugs first thing the face id is not working for me it's not a big of a deal at all because i don't use any face id on any samsung stuff since the galaxy note 8 and the note 9 they was using a something called the iris scanner that was a pretty amazing and was none of the samsung devices has get that feature i don't know why samsung dropped it never mind i don't know why but that was the amazing face id feature i was using the second thing is that the while you are setting the hey google or a hybixby 
you will get a lag unless you are use the same account in other device and set them individually in other device and then move your account into this device because you can set them in this device if you have a voice control a voice command set it up already you can use them but if you don't you might need to set up them on other device and then transfer your device through this through the desired phone you want to install the room the third thing that the air command actions that mean you can play and rock and roll with your s pen air command actions that mean you can have some gestures opening youtube and move forward backward without touching the screen and without pointing the pen in this screen but that's not a big of a deal overall but i'm not using that as i can see it is such a gimmick from samsung to throw in something like that i use my phone as a daily since that then wow the most big thing is that you need to unlock your boot louder for me i don't know if somehow in the previous generation some apps like secure folder or etc etc et et is not working now in this custom room you can see they are working fine and i don't even i don't even know what happening because this is an unofficial room this thing supposed to be not working but it's working now here in this in this room everything is working something else also can they can't think with my watch as i'm doing it they can sync the data from my watch to this watch and but uh, they are released it now so as i can tell that the samsung health now is working probably fine and everything rock and roll great amazing and also i want to share with you the uh lock screen things you can see here we do have some widgets some beautiful amazing widgets here let me pause yes some beautiful amazing widgets it's about the information of the weather and we do have about information about the stock weather and everything due to the new update so i can't i can't i can't i just need the time to think about this room and everything is working fine and even they have added something called advanced charging i don't know what the hell is that but i felt my phone is charging a little bit faster way faster than the previous android version here in the charging setting as you can see here we do have a advanced charging and super fast charging and advanced wireless charging so this is new options but whatever it is it's beautiful guys so this is the end of the video guys and let me make an individual video of how to install this rom and then i will tell you back what's happening okay thank you for watching and i miss you really guys missed you really